Audio, everyone. Lost it here. Tired once again. Bringing you live a reaction for Indie World Attraction. Do do do. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know what I'm expecting from Indie World. I hope we get some sequels announced from previous indie titles, of course. Um, I don't know any particular that I want to get get, but maybe from like Komiko or like a, a Gunman Cliff thing or something. That'd be nice. That'd be pretty interesting. I would also love to see if uh, an indie dev actually works on a Nintendo property. That'd be great. Can you imagine indie dev like working on an F Zero game? Like I would love that shit. But I'm not giving my hopes up too high. I'm just kind of going like, huh? The world is your oyster on this. As long as you don't expect too much Nintendo stuff, or you know, just enough, I suppose. Either way, let's wait for this to go. Game full of oh, look at those! Oh, Vissy Fluffs! Oh, this bars. looks so good! Are you kidding look at them! Come on, They're going real! <laughs> I love this! Anyway, it's so dumb! Ever wonder what cats do when their owners are away? <laughs> Well, has that answer. Oh, this is fantastic. Studio. I love this. Oh, it's going to be fun. To it out to determine the world's wow. Best wow. And they'll use anything it, it turns out that uh, Mochi is actually top tier. Like and Boots doesn't have a chance. Catastrophe. Oh my god. Oh, that was this looks like some uh, power gems type you of deal, but like... Oh my god, you can dress them up! That's so cool! I love it! This looks Did exactly like something that, like, you know Let's Players no, no. and such will love the bejeebus out of. And then people will be like, oh my god, it's 50 bucks. Oh, early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a good driver. Oh, I, I right. hope I am. I mean, very, I very vaults. Go karts? That works. Oh, jeez. It's a really cutesy, um, game You'll right here. The wheel to pick this up looks like, um, the Overcooked, but, like, with driving instead. Other players can join you oh, in as a gay, I cannot do that. <laughs> oh, my God. And I was kidding about the driving thing earlier. It's not actually a requirement. That's good. At least I've got okay, maybe I can't play this game. To <laughs> when Very, Very Valet accelerates onto Nintendo Switch. Very, Very Valet. They couldn't add a, a different V. Hi, I'm Jorge Garcia. That would be nice. I'm Francisco Mora. We are part of Leap Game Studios, based in Lima, Peru. Oh, look at that! They actually the muted all the, um, two. censored all the Ancient books they have there. The what what do they have over there that they censored? Through hand-drawn animations and characters, oh? we would like to share with you this world that is very dear to our hearts. You will embark on a journey to find new friends, deal with the past, and uncover the mysteries of the rainforest. I really like that they, they actually, like, brought the these devs up in here. Like, as a COVID thing, they're just like, eh, yeah, you know, just get a camera, we'll have you on. And, like, that's pretty cool. Oh? What is? Oh, oh! There was there was the hat girl. What is this? It looks like a beat 'em up, but yo, this is a beat 'em up. Yo, this is looking pretty good. Pretty schnazzle. Pretty wazzle up in here. Yes, you got a spear. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I like how they just like show Hat Girl like there. That's pretty cute. Hat Girl looks really good in that. I love traveling, and the world of Dunche definitely looks like a place I'd want to visit. It's called this Dunche. Hand-drawn world. I'm gonna not After pronounce that right all the time. Just breathtaking, and it can be explored Look at that! They're just like little heroes, little beat up things. It's so good. Skills and abilities. It's so They'll good. Unravel the rainforest. We, we're actually getting a beat up re renaissance because of indie games. Because like, please and thank you. That's what I want, baby. It's just like, oh my god, it looked like art, and just like, that's what I want. That's what I want. I'm actually really hyped for this. Also playable in this I, could, game. I could play it with a friend Venture into and the jungle when Tunche arrives first on Nintendo Switch Ooh. March 2021. March 2021. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mayhaps we, we might be done with COVID by then. Yo, this looking tight. This is looking tight, yo. Oh my god. I am a sucker for games that look like they're retro, even though they're totally not, because like this is just too high performing. But oh my god. It looks like something for the messenger and such. Oh my god, it even has little cutscenes like that. It, it just, it get me. I love this crap. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, oh. 
You know what? This is starting to look like a Metroidvania type. Oh dear. Oh oh. Oh dear. Oh. Cyber Shadow. Oh, that, that's coming soon. Imagine Notable. a world taken over by an evil doctor and his synthetic army. Oh, that makes sense. No need to imagine In the 90s, is a real big problem. I don't know why we had an uprise. From Mechanical Head Studios, you'll dash, slice, and leap your way God, that dash looks so good. As you take down more it than a dozen so apocalyptic bosses. By rescuing Ooh. your ninja clan, you'll unlock permanent ninjutsu skills and ninjutsu. abilities. Use them in your quest to pulverize evil, including summoning fire, mm, it has a little, charging little slashes, jump. throwing it has a little, and little, parrying um, deadly attacks. An exclusive a little, like, to the night Nintendo thing? Switch version, Ooh. you can scan compatible Shovel Knight series and Amiibo <coughs> figures oh, that's to get cute. a little help from a familiar fairy that's friend. That's cute! A classic 8-bit challenge it awaits so soon in Cyber Shadow. They're like little, little things. Coming to Nintendo Switch. January Yo, that's what I'm talking about, BB! Hey, we're White Throne Games, and we're super excited to share Calico with all of you. Calico? Calico is a relaxing, pastel-colored community sim full of magical girls, cuddly kids, magical girls? and townsfolk looking all right, to make so new Alright, so far fun. I'm sold. Come on. We're thrilled to share Calico with you on the Nintendo what, Switch. What the heck is the Calico? It's the perfect way to cozy up with a blanket, a cup of tea, I mean, I do have a blanket backpack. on right now because it's cold and it's very windy today. So... Based on the oh. cat puns, I'm assuming you've dreamed of owning a cat cafe? A cat kind of. And now everyone can in Calico. Peachy Keen Games has one very important Ooh. yet adorable task for you. Fill this cozy cafe with cute and cuddly creatures. No better way to spend the day, really. And by filling it with lots of charming furniture, festive decorations, and yummy pastries, you'll have plenty of fluffy friends in no time. Oh my goodness. It's perfect. So we're just making a cat cafe up in here? Gosh. Ah, right. The pun thing. Sorry. I gotta say, I kind of wanted a cat Calico. simulator. Launching on Nintendo Switch later today. Later today? Oh my goodness! Oh. Gunsai? Oh, she's cute. I'm getting like 999 vibes up in this business. Why is that? Why am I getting 999 vibes? Gnoshe? Look at her! She's so cute! Voting. Oh, 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 they're voting. Was sent to a cold sleep? Oh, this is like a Dinkaropa like. It's got all those little bit pieces. Why are there aliens? Uh, Gnosha? Ah! What is this? I want to play it. What is this bit? Oh, that's blended in amongst your crew. Oh my goodness, it is among us, but like extra steps. Five to fifteen minutes to complete. You can customize the number of kosha. Oh, that's pretty cool. You will play through the same loop twice. Why does uh time keep looping? Ooh, I love this. Time loop, time loop, time loop, time loop. That's what I'm talking about. Those Gnosia are terrifying. I love them. I might have trouble sleeping tonight. I love Gnosia. You'll be fine. Besides, Great. there's an eclectic cast of characters you'll get to meet and That's pretty awesome. They all look so good and just like their illustrations. The oh my god, she's it's so cute. Dolphin! Social deduction genre for sure. well, I guess it's technically a whale, right? I'll have to overcome my fears when Gnosia launches Gnosia. on Nintendo Switch early 2020. I really like Gnosia. That's like part of my jam right there. Oh, that doesn't look like a happy game at all. Oh, that's the kind of like creepy cute that I, I vibe with. Oh god. All right, it got a little too creepy. Oh god, what's happening? This doesn't look like a happy game. Oh god, this is like elder core type of shite. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's that's some some mental business stuff down there. Yep, Happy game je psychedelická hororová hra, která je trošku jiná yeah, než psychedelic horror. I'm, I'm pretty sure psychedelic horror is like the the closest type of horror I could actually experience without being super scared. Oh god. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. It will be fine. This this looks literally like it's it's a look. It will be fine. Type of thing. Nah, I'd be on edge the whole time if I played this. I'd be so on edge. 
We're almost at the end of our presentation. No! But there are several more indie games we'd like to yes, show you. Yes, please give Check me Nintendo collab. I just want a Nintendo collab. Oh, damn parties. This is what I like about a lot of the indie games is that they're just like, hey, let's make a game art. And it's like, that's cool. Please and thank you. I honestly don't understand why they don't, like, do that more. Because, like, it seems to me that games are pretty lenient towards that old art. But, that Cosmic Cots, that... So weird. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that! That looks like my jam right there. Oh, look at that! It's like a little buggy adventure. Oh, the bugs look so cute! Hazel Sky. That looks like a murder mystery type. Looks interesting. You're building your own rapid seem. Oh my god! Something soldiers, I think? Oh no, Push is, is being mean to me today. Oh jeez. Oh look at that! Finding Paradise! Paradiso. Oh, this is probably from the, the, the To The Moon people. So expect your um your heart to be taken. Oh gosh, please. Let me see the other stuff. Well, that just about wraps up today's no! presentation. Yes! Huh? Yes! Yes, what else is happening? There is an Yo, Among Us is coming to Not Switch, me. baby! I saw you the fence, though. Oh, I'm happy about that. You're the suspicious one. <laughs> Look, I'm have so have happy for the Among Us crew. Like, you had no idea. There's just a small little dev team, and this, they deserve everything in life. They we really do. It just, it's so good. Before it's too late. It's so cutesy. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if our friendship will survive at this rate. Bojo. Because you're the imposter. That's it. I'm voting you out. Oh, whatever. I'll convince you I'm not the imposter when Among Us launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Later today, yo yo yo! That's, That's awesome. All today's Indie World presentation. Oh. Well, Indie World wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, cause like I was hoping that we'd get like one collab or some jazz like that, but. No. And you know, that's fine. That's that's a little too high expectation, I, I would say, in comparison. But we did get a nice little, little bit of everything, and Ganusha, like, really, really, like, hits a vibe that I like a lot. Because it definitely feels like a 999-like, and it feels like a, a Dengaropa-like at the same time. I guess it's more akin to Among Us, but, like, I don't think it's going to be Among Us ripoff. I really, really don't think it is. But boy, howdy, am I loving the genre of, like, let's not trust your friends. Because that is something that just is so fun to watch. <laughs> um, but despite everything, yo, I like these little indie world showcases. I hope they keep doing them because, like, honestly, I've been hanging the trickle-down stuff of Nintendo. So please, Nintendo, just, like, put everything into one thing so I can react to it. It'd be nice. Uh, it's a nice fit there. But you know what? Whatever. <laughs> At least we got some good game news, and I'm very happy about that. Um, would love Nintendo to just cooperate more. Like you have like your series just like floating there doing nothing. Like Mod Rider could be doing something. So could F Zero and just just give it to any dev. They will like love it to death. Please. Ah, <sighs> still though. Thank you all for watching uh, this uh live reaction as uh I look at all those little little cute little indie games and uh. Yeah, I hope you all have a good day because uh, my day just started and I'm very tired. <laughs> Till then, sayonara. Bye-bye.